Hey folks, time for more silver. Just a little heads up, there is nothing left in Spire to explore, so we are going directly back to the surface. I was wrong. I thought there was another way inside the Spire, but there is not. So, yeah, we're going to have to leave the underground cabins and go upside again. And we have to go here. Because we just found a necklace, and we want to use that necklace to go through this fire barrier that we discovered a few videos ago. So let's go there and go through it. There we go. Open it. Ta-da! Whoa! More stuff. Or one. Dr. Bozuki was insisting that you should join him at the Temple of the Oracle as soon as possible. Um, sure, why not? We're going to visit Bazooki again. I don't think he has a lot to talk about, but he might be worth visiting before we go on. Though I'm not really sure what he's going to tell us, because we know where the next orb is. So there isn't actually something he can tell us. Let's talk to you. Hello, Doctor. I've reviewed the calculations of my formulas, and I've managed to increase the potency of my wee potions. Oh. At no extra cost to your good self, I might add. I'll also do you a favor and swap your old files for new. Now, can I interest you in any of my more potent ways? Hmm. Let's have a look. I think the, the travel was not needed, really, but... Gas cloud, exploding vials, enchanted armor, strength, potion, magic, potion. Uh, no. You're so hard to please, but I'm sure I'll have something you need the next time you come. If we come at all the next time. Because your little imp just made us go here without any reason. Let's go back to the fire tree. And besides, if I haven't told you before, because I can't remember, uh... Every time you kill a boss, you level up. So let's have a look at our stats before we go in here. David is now level 5, has 390 points and 82 mana. Vivian is also level 5, has about 325 hit points and 63 mana. And Jug has 455 and 21 magic. So he's the, let's go in and fight stuff guy. While David is a mixture of both, and so is Vivian actually. But we'll get more people later, so let's go in and fight stuff. And see what enemies we actually have here. Mm. We can go right, and we can go left. But I do want that gold first. Yay! Blue whatever they are. More stuff. Yay! More blue whatever things to fight. I don't even know what to say to them. I don't even know what they could resemble to be honest. Uh, I don't want to do that, but... okay. There we go. Gold. Wow, 500. That's a freaking lot of gold. I don't want to save just yet. Yeah, I'm going to write first. I'm not sure what way is the right one. But I am going to find out probably soon enough. What? Oh, we're full on... Okay. We're full on um, food on rats, so to speak. Well, Vivian can take some of them anyway. And we've got new enemies. Violet ones, or purple ones, whatever you want to call it. Ow. That hurt. Okay, Vivi. Take a rat. And take another rat. 
Can we go somewhere from here? Yes, we can. Let's go left then. And see what's there. More stuff. Even with bows! Yeah, that one shot was totally useless. Take the longbow. Alright. One red for David and one red for you. Okay, probably can only go onwards, so let's go onwards. Oh, hello! Good sir, who are you? He looks small. If your path takes you to the monastery, turn back. You'll find nothing there but an asylum of psychotic madmen. And the monks? They are all demented. Our water supply was poisoned. By silver? That's my belief. We wouldn't bow down and renounce our ideology. We are strong, virtuous people, and he's punished us by stealing our peace and damning us to a life of anguish. You say we. Have you been affected by the poison? No. I was in rain during the infection and was spared the madness. But while my brothers suffer, I suffer. Rest assured, Silver will pay. But you can't live in the monastery without water. Where will you go? If your mission challenges Silver, then my place is with you. I am strong and proficient in the more traditional fighting arts. I would be a loyal ally. Hmm. Okay, we have a choice here to get in, uh, I think, Gage, uh, Cajun is his name, um, and swap in him for someone else. And since I don't need so many melee fighters, or rather, magic ones, I'll pick him for this one. So we get more magic with him. We would be honored. A lot. But first, how do we address you? By my given name, Kagan. Kagan. Jug, okay. go to the rebel camp in Haven and check if we've had word from the Duke. Wait there and rest until we need you. I guess he can go back to the camp. And you see, he has 120 magic, so he's really good in that. You take the axe, and we'll have a look at your monastery. And let's see how mad these monks really are. Okay, they really are mad. Let's go. Ah, oh, he's probably caught. Yes, he does. Shut up! Bam, bam, bam. That's two done. It's too bad I have to kill these, actually, because they could prove useful against silver. Who wouldn't be feared with an army of monks at their back? Yep. Okay, let's move first. And slash and then. Like that. I think we have enough af enough apples here, and enough bread as well. Yeah, I don't waste food so much. There's something here. There's no more bread. Because I know I can use it later. But before we go on, um, yeah, I just want to. Okay, let's fight these then to the end. Come on, stop defending. There we go. Jumpy ones, and they all look the same. Wonder where they come from. But, as I just wanted to start saying, before we go on, I have to cut the video off. So when we come back, we'll explore more of this monastery and see if we can, well, do something about the monks getting all crazy and stuff. So, see you later, adventurers.